there is a there is another act of violence that that took the headlines for five seconds because once again it did not fit the media's narrative and that was this attack at a Texas church that happened over the holidays. Apparently, according to the Wall Street Journal, a streaming video of the Sunday church service in Texas at which a parishioner gunned down a shooter is rallying those who support making it easier for private citizens to bear arms. Gun rights advocates have long argued that if more citizens have guns, they can defend themselves and others in the event of a shooting. On Sunday morning, this is that last Sunday, a gunman opened fire at West Freeway Church of Christ in White Settlement near Fort Worth. He killed two people before a parishioner who was part of a volunteer security force fatally shot him. And you can actually see this happen in the video. You can see the shooter who arrives on scene, starts shooting at people, and a bunch of people in the crowd pull out guns and a security officer puts down the, the shooter and shoots the shooter. Hey, it was amazing. There are there people on the left who are tweeting, yeah, but the real threat was that there were people in the audience who didn't really know what to do with their guns and were unlicensed with their guns. That was the real threat, obviously. Okay, th- this is... Let's just say this. If that Hanukkah party that was attacked by a guy with a machete, if there'd been anyone and anyone there with a gun, it wouldn't be five people injured. It would be one terrorist dead. That's what, have been happen- what would have been happening there. Everyone who wishes to protect themselves and their community should become a responsible gun owner. They should know how to use. They should coordinate with the authorities. They should, they should do all appropriate things to defend themselves. By the way, speaking of idiocy, again, the U.S. criminal justice system is broken, but not in terms of keeping people in jail too long all the time. Sometimes it's broken in terms of this revolving door that we have with crime. It turns out that the man who fatally shot two people at the White Settlement Church before being killed by church security was had a long criminal history and was described by his ex-wife as battling a demon and not nice to anyone. The shooter was identified on Monday morning by two law enforcement sources familiar with the investigation. NBC5 has learned that his criminal past included charges of assault, theft, arson, and possession of an illegal weapon in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Jersey. What a What a delight. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. You set up a revolving door for criminals and then you're shocked when it turns out that the criminals go and do terrible things.